Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I am really excited for today's video because I do have a bunch of new products that I am excited to test out and see if they're worth the hype. Um, you guys know I did my Sephora haul recently, so these are the products, of course. Um, and I'll just let you guys know my thoughts on them as well. So with that being said, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's jump right to the video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I have a couple products that I recently hauled, and I'm so excited to test them out. So this video, I'm just really happy because it's been about two weeks since I've even you know swatched them or did anything with them honestly so I'm ready to see how I feel about these products um, but first things first I did go ahead and prime my face I'm using my Kenan Austin prime and protect mattifying primer which you guys know I always use on my face but for the actual foundation I have the NARS soft matte complete foundation in the shade Marquises um, this is kind of new because the first shade I did get was Macau but that was way too light for my skin so Marquises is like my perfect match you guys I am in love with this foundation let me actually get it out for y'all but this is what it looks like and it's funny because i have the nars radiant longwear foundation in the shade marquises and that one's a little bit too orange for my skin but this one y'all i am telling you it is the perfect color so let me grab my sponge actually and then apply it on my face and also really quickly the reason why i'm wearing this is because my hair is pulled back so i want to make sure that it's smooth and all of that but it's not part of the look in case you guys are wondering uh, but going back to the foundation i love the foundation especially if you do have oily skin because y'all it controls my oils so nicely when I did my wear test, I think I wore it for about eight or nine hours and I only got oily on my nose, I believe, and that was it. But it looks so beautiful on the skin, very smooth and very flawless, and it just, uh, it looks good all day. So I highly recommend this foundation if you haven't tried it. And y'all can see it is not orange on the skin. It just matches perfectly. And also when it comes to this foundation, it covers up, you know, dark marks or any spots you have on your face really nicely because over here I have a bunch of dark marks from pimples and all of that. But y'all can see that it just completely covered that up. And I really didn't use a lot of foundation because a little bit does go a long way. But this is really beautiful on the skin. I love it. Y'all, I'm telling you right now, if you see makeup on my nails, please don't judge me because I have nude colored nails and the makeup just gets all over it. Like, it just looks gross, but y'all, don't judge me, okay? But moving on to cream bronzing, I have my Juvia's Place Katsina Cream Bronzer, which I've been using for a long time now, and also my concealer, the Path McGrath MD22 Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face of course and while i'm applying this i do want to point out that i have heard so many good things about the huda beauty um new foundation stick so if you've tried it let me know down below because i look you want to pick up a color for my face and then also to bronze my skin as well um but let me know your thoughts on it because i have heard a lot of good things so far but this one I really love because it just adds like the nice amount of color to my skin and it doesn't pull too red or anything. So this is like the perfect color. So everything is blended in for the most part. So let's move on to concealer. I do have my Path McGrath Labs Concealer in the shade MD22, of course, which I'm going to use to highlight my face. I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes on my forehead right here on my chin and i'm just blending right now of course but i know you guys are probably sick of seeing this concealer because it's all i use all the time y'all like it looks so flawless on the face but a lot of people have been telling me about the makeup forever concealer i don't even know what it's called but i've heard a lot of good things about it so far so i may test that one out as well and see but this concealer is just the best okay And then to set everything on my face, I'm using my Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Kanafa. All 
Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I do have a couple new things that I'm really excited to test out. And the first one is the Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set Kit. And I got it in the shade Deep. Um, with this one, I have heard a couple good things online. So I'm really excited to test it out and see if it's worth the hype. And that's what the packaging looks like. But let's open this up to see the inside. And I did swatch it as well in my haul video so I can see if it's light enough for the eyes. And I know it looks super dark in the pan, but I promise you when you do swatch it, it's a little bit lighter. And then it also comes with the powder as well. So what I'm gonna do is grab my Morphe brush and the one I'm using is M173 and it's a nice buffing brush. And I'm gonna go into the palette and use the lighter shade first. And I think it's this one. I can't really tell which one is lighter. Let's see, I think it's this one right here. So I'm gonna take this shade first and see what it looks like on the eyes. I'm not sure how the formula is either, so let's just see. Apply all over. Okay, so even though it's a cream, it kind of feels like a powder on the eyes, and I like that because I don't like eye primers that are too creamy. I kind of want it to have some grip to it, and with this one, it does have some grip, so I'm going back in to grab a little bit more and just really buff this all over. And I really like this shade as well, you guys, because it's the perfect color for my eyes because typically I go with colors like this, so I'm glad it worked out. And I kinda wanna bring you guys in a little bit closer since we're doing the eyes so y'all can really see what I'm doing. But yeah, so far so good. I love the way it blended out. It's not too creamy. Um, it has a little bit of grip to it and it just looks really nice so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the powder. I'm just gonna take a regular brush and just apply some of the powder onto it and then set the eyes as well. So I'm not sure what's happening, but once I put the powder on, it looks super dry and patchy. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera but it looks a little bit dry and patchy i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye in a little bit and see if i have that issue because i don't think i blended the cream enough in the beginning so that may be the issue but i'll let y'all know in a second okay so i did try the other eye and it does look a little bit dry um, I'm not sure if y'all can really see this, but it does look a little bit dry. But I think once I apply the eyeshadows, it may look a little bit different. I don't know, but this is just my first impressions. Um, but moving on to the actual palette, which I am so excited for, you guys. I have been waiting to try this out. And it's the Natasha Denona Biba All Neutral Palette, which I've been wanting for a long time. And I finally have it. So let me grab this off for you guys and show you what the inside looks like. So so pretty you guys like look at these colors honestly i'm not even sure what look i want to do like i haven't thought about it or anything so yeah so i decided even though i don't know what look i want to do i'm gonna start off with the shade perry because perry looks like the perfect um caramel color that i always put in my crease so i'll take a little bit of this onto my morphe m504 brush and just apply this in my crease because you can never go wrong with a caramel brown shade. So let's, ooh, whoa, whoa, super pigmented. All right, let me try this again. It just added so much color in the beginning, but I'm just gonna put this all in my crease. Whoa. Mm. So as I'm trying to blend you guys, I am noticing that the primer that I use for the lids is just not working with the eyeshadow. Um, it's kind of taking off the primer as I go along and it's just not looking good at all. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to go back in with that color again and see if I can kind of cover it up a little bit. But it kind of takes off the primer just... A little bit y'all I don't know so I'm kind of patting the eyeshadow and it's starting to look a little bit better on the eyes but when I kind of blend like this it kind of takes away the primer so I'm not sure exactly what is going on with that because so many people said a lot of good things about it so maybe I'm not doing it right I don't know I just applied it on my eyes and set it 
like normal but I will say it looks a little bit better than it first did. So now I'm doing the other eye and I'm kind of noticing the same thing again right here because when I do try to blend, it kind of just picks up the primer on the eyes like it truly didn't set. So I'm not sure if there's directions on the box because I'm trying to see if it's set to like wait like a minute or something before you start blending, but I don't know. It's just not working for me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, even though I kinda wanna start the eyes all over, I'm just gonna keep going on and see if it does make a difference. Um, but moving on to the next shade, I'm gonna use the shade Freckle and see what this looks like in the crease, but it's kind of like a muted brown, um, but regardless, it's super pretty. I just wanna put this in the crease and see what it looks like. So same thing, I'm just taking it in the crease and blending. And it does have some nice depth to it as well. Like these shadows are so beautiful, you guys. Literally in this palette, I feel like you have every single brown shadow you would ever, ever need. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. I'm actually gonna use Coco from the palette, which is a dark chocolate color and apply this in the crease as well. Okay, so time for the lids. I'm gonna use the shade Rustic all over and it's just giving me like bronzy, brownie vibes. I don't know, it just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shade all over my lids and see what that looks like. And y'all can clearly tell I'm just winging this look because I had no plan in mind. But let's see what this looks like all over. Ooh, it's a very, very deep gold but nonetheless y'all it is super pretty now to finish up the eyes i'm gonna use my beauty by chi chi high low lashes which is a winged out very natural um lash if it'll focus but that's what it looks like right there um i'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on it but we're gonna finish up the face as well while it dries so actually while my lashes are drying i'm gonna set my face with my make forever powder in the shade y505 And I'm moving on to bronzer. I do wanna tell you guys about a new bronzing brush that I've been loving, and it's the LA Colors Large Powder Brush. They call it a large powder brush, but honestly, it's a bronzer brush because y'all can see how it's shaped, but it is so fluffy, so soft. It makes my bronzer look really nice on the face. I just want to go ahead and mention that. So I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Tan Airbrush Bronzer, of course. I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronzer on the face. And then all I really do is just stipple it onto the face because this brush just takes it a long way and adds like the perfect amount of color to the face. Now time to set the face. I'm using my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Set and Spray, which is a new set and spray. Um, I do have their primer, which I absolutely love. And I recently tried the set and spray and y'all, it is so good, okay? So this is what it looks like. It does have like two different, you know, situations going on right here, but there's a green part and a blue part, but you do have to go ahead and shake it up to activate the formula. So once you do that, it then kind of, you know, blends together but i'm gonna use this to set my face and just you know get rid of all the powder as well so let me get a little bit closer because i want to show you guys what it does to the skin but it gets rid of all the powder of course but it adds a nice beautiful glow as well like i just love it because when i first read about this i thought it would be super hydrated on the skin where i look really greasy but i'm telling you guys right now it doesn't do that it just adds a beautiful glow i'm obsessed obsessed with it um but now moving on to blush i do have a new blush i want to try and it's a soft pinch blush from rare beauty i got it in the shade grateful and to be honest it may not fit this makeup look because it is a little bit on the red side let's see well it's not really well it's kind of like red but like a hot pink red if that makes sense so i want to test it out because it is new 
but I'm not sure if it'll match this look. So what I'm gonna do is apply it to the back of my hand. Then I'll show you guys what it looks like. But this color, y'all, is super pretty. I think it'll be perfect for the springtime. But I'm just gonna take a little amount of this and just ever so slightly apply it on the face. And I know you guys are probably like Chi Chi, like we can't even see the color really on the face, but I just want a wash of the color. I don't want it to be, you know, too pigmented, but I think it's still super pretty even though I didn't apply, you know, a lot like I typically would. It's still super, super pretty on the face. But honestly, I feel like this blush just brought my whole entire face to life. Like it just added a nice hint of color. It looks so good. Like. Let me stop talking about it, but I'm obsessed. Um, but moving on to highlighter. This one, you guys, I am so excited for. And it's a RMS Beauty Live Illuminizer, their Glow Quad. And I got it in the shade. I don't think it's actually called a shade, but it's just called their Glow Quad. And this is what it looks like. Basically, it's supposed to give you a blinding, wet looking highlight on your face. Um, I was reading all the reviews online and they do have singles when it comes to these highlighters. But I got the mini version because I just want to see, you know, if it's worth the hype, if it's good and whatnot. Um, but this is what it looks like once you open it up. And I already swatched it for my haul video, but y'all can see the colors in here. There is four different colors, and I'm not sure which one I want to test out. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to use this brownie shade first, just to see what it looks like on the skin. And I'm going to start off with the bridge of my nose first, because I typically apply highlighter right there. And I think I applied way too much, but gonna apply some onto the bridge then the tip of my nose so I'm not gonna lie to you guys that didn't give me the you know oomph I was looking for okay so let's try a different shade I want to use let's see it's called live-in luminizer which should be like a champagne color I'm gonna take this on the bridge oh it's a little bit it's a little bit light Ooh. Mm. I look you feel like I'm in shambles because it's just it's not doing what I thought it was so let's go back to this brown shade right here and let's use this all over the cheek area as an actual highlighter because I don't know maybe there's something wrong with my nose but it's just not giving me what I'm looking for like let's try this again I'm gonna use my sponge instead and just dab that onto the skin okay okay I'm seeing it now it's coming through but wait it's actually really pretty you guys the more I dab it ooh, ooh, okay okay all right now this is what I'm talking about okay this 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 is what I was looking for y'all when I tell you this looks wet on the face okay like in real life it is not sitting on the skin it gives you like that that glow that I'm looking for. Maybe there's something wrong with my nose. My nose is just not catching on with the highlighter, but on the cheeks, wow. So I just applied it to the other side of my face and y'all can just see like, this looks so good, all right? So out of all these four, I will say the shade I recommend is called Buriti Bronzer. It's this brownie shade and I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one in the full size because it is just giving me so much life right now. like. It looks, it looks really good. Oh yeah, so going back to the eyes, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to take the shade Rustic again, which is that bronzy, shimmery shade, and just apply this underneath my eyes. Um, typically, I go in with matte shadows only, but I'm just going to take this shade and really just buff it underneath the eyes, and I just think it'll look really good. So let's see. And I'm just taking this eye crease brush from LA Colors gonna go ahead and buff this 
Okay, so last but not least, I do have the lips, of course, and I'm gonna use my favorite lip gloss combo at the moment. It is the Morphe Trendsetter Lip Pencil. And then also, I do apply the Morphe um, Lip Gloss in the shade Backstage. And I have lip gloss or something all over me, like, y'all, I'm a hot mess today. And then last but not least, on top, I do add the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Vintage Lip Gloss as well. All right, you guys, so this is a completed look. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, my camera is about to die, so I'm gonna make this part a little bit speedy. But um, yeah, there were some products I did love, of course, and then some I'm a little bit iffy about. For example, like the Makeup by Mario um, Eye Prep and Set Kit. I have to use this again because, to be honest, it wasn't the best first impressions, but at the same time, everything still turned out decent thank god so i'm happy about that um but everything else i really love so far especially the highlighter on the face like y'all like it's it looks so good okay let me calm down but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one